good morning to all of you. On behalf of St. Aloysius PU College, I welcome you all to our student orientation program. I am Sasha Lobo, Joint Secretary of the Student Council. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to this family of Aloysians. I hope you're just as excited as I have been to enter this campus with unlimited possibilities. St. Aloysius institutions have for the past 140 years been driven by the vision of empowering youth through excellence in education to shape a better future for humankind. May the mission and motto of the institution aid you in realizing your dreams so that you may reach beyond your boundaries and rise to your truest potential. Prayer is a way of nurturing faith and raising one's heart and mind to God. To accomplish this purpose, I call upon the choir group to conduct the prayer session. for that melodious rendition and for evoking the blessings of the Almighty on all of us. To welcome is to convey appreciation for one's presence and it is to render this cordial gesture that I now call on Vandana Bhaskar, President of the Student Council, to welcome the gathering. Greetings to all. It is my pleasure to be the first to welcome you all to St. Aloysius PU College and to your new lives as college students. I am Vandana Bhaskar, President of the Student Council. We are glad to be able to begin this year even amidst the pandemic. The next two years will definitely influence your career. However, it is also an opportunity to try, to learn, to experiment and to define your future. This college provides everything a student requires for academic and personality development. You can readily approach any of the teaching staff and student council with any help that you would require. In addition, you can avail any opportunity to be part of the associations, clubs and activities of our college. 
Being a part of the many events our college holds, like pre-unique, SAPMAN, and so on, will help build your experience in not just event management, but also social interaction with a diverse group of people. The classroom environment can be active and vibrant, and the teachers have always understood every student's capability and supported them throughout the two years. In short, this is the place to be. From the early morning classes in this beautiful campus to the lunch breaks at the Al Cafe, every part of your journey will be exciting. And I can tell you with confidence that you will leave with a bag full of memories. All we ask from you is the willingness to take this journey. I will conclude with a famous saying by Wayne Gretzky, which I personally believe in. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Thank you. A leader's job is to see the best in human beings who have never caught sight of the best within themselves. And today, we have one such great leader in our midst who motivates us to look within ourselves and realize our truest potentials. It is my honor to request the Rector of St. Aloysius Institutions, Reverend Father Dionysius Vas SJ, to deliver his message. Welcome to all of you, dear Father Principal, Father Clifford Sequera, the Vice Principals, Deans, members of the faculty, and my dear first year students. A warm welcome to you to this beautiful campus, St. Elvisius. You are entering into your PUC, and I'm sure you are looking forward to a glorious future. This college has a history of 140 years. And the motto of this college is Luchit et Ardit, meaning shine to enkindle. May your life here shine to enkindle not only your lives and your families, but also others whom you come in contact with. St. Elvish's College has always focused on three aspects of life academic excellence, character formation, and social concern. This will give you a holistic development. We have the new education policy now coming into place, and you will be part of this new education policy, which speaks about the Jesuit sees creativity, competence, conscience, compassion and commitment. The new education policy speaks about all of this in different ways. May your life in this college continue to develop these three, these five C's of life and the three important aspects that I've spoken about. On this occasion, I would like to thank your parents who have trusted us and who have admitted you to this college. They have great expectations in you. We want to assure them that we will create in you men and women for and with others who are creative, conscientious, compassionate and committed. Thank you. God bless you. There are various factors that have made this institution the place to be. Thanks to our principal, Reverend Father Clifford Sequera SJ who has always given us numerous opportunities to make the best use of our talents. I kindly request Father Principal to share his message with us. Good morning and a very warm welcome to all of you who are joining us here at St. Aloysius Pew College. COVID-19 has thrown our usual schedule off. And so instead of us personally welcoming you all, the staff and I will be welcoming you virtually. We feel the absence of young and energetic students in our campus today. And we pray for the day to come when you all can enter the college and be safe and healthy. Meanwhile, we would like to get on with our lives and move forward. Even if you are not coming to college physically, you can talk to your classmates and teachers, begin building relationships and stay focused on a positive future. 
Things will change and life will get better and come to normal. And we would like you to stay strong mentally. Seek help from us and know that you are not alone, never alone. Start dreaming. Dream of what you want to do in the future and keep that as a goal. Invest time in developing talents and honing skills. These are not a waste of time, but in fact will help you become balanced individuals. Pre-university college is like standing on the threshold. You have come from school and you will be going on to further studies and professions. We are here to help you transition from school children into young adults. Do not hesitate to reach out to us with your concerns and questions. We are here to help each and every one of you to make this transition as smoothly as possible. A lot of opportunities will be given to you to develop your extracurricular talents during these two years. Soon you will be here on stage, in the fields and in the corridors, active and enjoying every minute of college life. Becoming men and women for others is a critical aspect of Jesuit education. Remember, society needs your contribution. So give back as much as you can, particularly to those who are most in need of help. Build brotherhood, foster friendship, respect each other. Ours is a multicultural and multi-religious campus. Grow in understanding and appreciation of other religious traditions and values. Our college motto, Luchit et Adit, Shine to Enkindle, speaks of genuine love and commitment to humanity. Let us keep that in mind as we spend the next two years here. I wish you all the very best. May God bless us all. Thank you. Today, we have amongst us an eminent personality, Mr. Mahesh Nayak. A graduate of St. Aloysius College, he is now a versatile media professional. He serves as the executive editor of Manglo Today. He is also an advertising copywriter and a media consultant, a motivational speaker and life skills trainer. It is my pleasure to call on Mr. Mahesh to deliver his message. Hello students, my greetings to you. First and foremost, let me congratulate you on your success in completing SSLC, which has earned you an admission in St. Aloysius Pre-University College. As Aloysians, we are the proud inheritors of an outstanding legacy of 140 years. I too have studied in this institution and it has changed my outlook on life. I am sure it will make a difference to you too. Unfortunately, today we are meeting during a global pandemic. We are interacting online instead of meeting in person. This is a period of confusion and challenge when the future seems uncertain. You too might be worried about your future. How can we deal with this scenario? I am here to provide you the answers. In the next 18 minutes, I am going to reveal to you the secrets of achieving success in 8 easy steps. But before that, I want you to promise me to listen to me carefully and try out what you learn here. Stepping into college is a priceless experience. It's for the first time that you get a taste of freedom. The freedom to achieve what you desire. Accept this freedom. Don't neglect it. Use this freedom to your advantage. Remember Strummer's law. Without input, there is no output. So give me your next 18 minutes to learn the 8 steps to success. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step and that step is step 1. 
टेक चार्ज ऑफ योर लाइफ टेक चार्ज ऑफ योर टाइम टेक चार्ज ऑफ योर डिसीजन बिकॉज एवरी मिनिट काउंट्स एंड एवरी डिसीजन काउंट्स वेन यू राइड ए हॉर्स आइदर द हॉर्स कैन टेक यू वेर इट वॉन्ट्स टू गो और यू कैन मेक द हॉर्स गो वेर यू वॉन्ट इट टू गो टेकिंग चार्ज ऑफ लाइफ means being in a position where you let life take you where you want it to go in college you are a free bird you have freedom you are not in school anymore and no one is going to tell you what you have to do so taking charge means learning to become an independent person it means having a mind of your own and taking responsibility for everything that goes right in your life and everything that goes wrong in your life good decisions lead to success bad decisions push you back do you take the right decisions before taking a decision do you evaluate the advantages and the disadvantages barack obama did the impossible he became the first black man to become the president of usa APJ Abdul Kalam was a scientist and not a politician yet he became a very popular president of India Kiran Bedi too did the impossible she became the first female IPS officer in India all these people were self-made individuals you too can be a self-made person when you have a clear goal and take charge of your life so be smart take charge from the day we are born till the day we depart all we have is time life is nothing but time and time is the same for everyone whether you are rich or poor this or that to all of us one hour is equal to 60 minutes and one minute is equal to 60 seconds yet some successful people get more out of their time by making the best use of it we can get the best value out of time by budgeting it life is full of essential activities everything in life is important we cannot afford to neglect anything so allot your time for everything as henry ford said the busy person has time for everything set aside some time for study and some time for sports some time for rest and some time for relaxation set aside some time for sitting quietly and thinking and some time for planning your future i can sit and dabble with my cell phone all day long it will help me to connect with my friends maybe it's a good thing if i do it for about half an hour a day but if i dedicate my entire day it won't improve my life in any way so whenever you engage in a new activity ask yourself this question is this activity worth spending my time on will this activity help me to reach my goals remember time and tide wait for none so make intelligent use of your time and you are well on your way to success if you have a gun you can't fire it just like that you need a target to shoot at a goal is a target for us to focus on we need goals to achieve anything in life dreaming of becoming a successful guy or a great guy is not a goal it is wishful thinking whereas wanting to become a scientist a ca or an ias officer is a goal because goals are specific and goals are time bound companies have what is called as a vision statement similarly a goal is your personal vision statement we all have simple day to day goals like wanting to watch a particular movie or wanting to visit a particular place but what about life goals do you have a crystal clear idea of what you would like to be after say 10 years or say 25 years unless we have a clear idea it is not possible for us to achieve such targets 
So sit down and write down your life goals. Out of these goals, select the three most important ones and write them in big letters on the wall in your room. Or maybe make it your screensaver. Or if there's a song which reminds you of these goals, make it your ringtone. Ask yourself, is your goal reflecting your innermost passion? Do you have sufficient interest in the chosen subject to sustain your goal all through life? Remain focused on your ultimate goals in life and feel energized to take the most out of every day. This step is a simple four letter word P L A N plan. Having a goal is only the first half of the equation. It is true that we need a vision, but you also need a mission. And your plan is your mission. This means having a clear step by step path to achieve your desired goal. It is your roadmap to goal achievement and ultimate success. A pilot, before he gets into the plane, first makes a flight plan. He will look into the weather report, check his equipment and many other things and decide what route is best to take to reach his destination. Similarly, before climbing a mountain, the adventurer will first study its history and the terrain and decide what is the best way to reach the top. Likewise, we all need a plan to reach our desired goals in life. How can we do the required planning? The best way is to reverse engineer the process. Once you have decided on your passionate goal, it is best to start at that point and work your way backwards. This will give you a clear idea of the different steps you need to take to reach your desired goal. Remember, each step is important. There are no shortcuts. Even a minor mistake can result in failure. A plan is the easiest and the best way to reach your goal as it saves you time, energy and effort. So have a plan to get where you want to go in life. So now you have a goal and you have a plan. All you need to do is to fill in the fuel and kickstart the engine. If your final goal is to become a top class engineer, then your immediate goal is to get admission to a top class engineering college. So your plan must include clearing your first PU with top marks, then the second year, then the CET, the JEE, and then appear for the interview and get admission into a premier engineering college. In order to achieve these different goals, you will need to keep your end of the bargain by investing your time productively in attending classes, attending practicals, reading books, exam preparations, submitting assignments, and so on. You also need to take care to get rest and relaxation so that there is no burnout. You will also need to take care of your health and keep yourself motivated and in a happy frame of mind. All this requires continuous effort. You need to remain focused, proactive, and well motivated. If you push yourself, you will be able to reach your goal. If you neglect, then you will be left behind and you will have to watch your friends move on and achieve their own success goals. So the one person who can make a difference to your life is you and you alone. Once you learn to take charge and help yourself, you will observe that everyone will help you and all the situations will work to your advantage. So be the person who is determined to succeed by investing your time, energy and commitment. The only thing permanent in life is change. Situations change. Just look at the present crisis. A microscopic virus has brought the world to a standstill. The global economy is crumbling. Nobody knows what to do. Don't let this happen to you. No matter what happens to your goals and plans, if the situation changes, be flexible enough to adjust to the new reality. Have you seen horses on the racetrack? They wear blinkers to avoid looking left or right. Now this kind of focus works on horses but not on humans. As humans, we need to be adjustable and adaptable. 
Many times, even with the best plans and sincere effort, we may fail to reach our goals. At such times, we need to look at the situation with fresh eyes and develop new plans. In every adversity, there is opportunity. In today's education, the greatest challenge posed by the COVID pandemic is online teaching. As students, you have very little choice until the situation improves. Instead of feeling dejected, utilize the features of the online platforms to maximize its usage and improve your learning. Even companies and organizations are facing the same problems. In fact, the pandemic has come as a blessing to the online technology industry. It has given the creators of these platforms the opportunity to test their softwares on large-scale applications and improve their product. This shows that the process of adaptation will benefit humanity as better online platforms will soon be available and the education system will also shift towards a more interesting and new domain. Unlike all other animals, humans are the only rational beings on earth. But being human also means being social. As humans, we thrive in the company of our fellows. We need friends, we need partners, we need teachers, we need role models, we need mentors. Have all these in your life. In your journey, make it a point to use this part of human nature to your advantage. Develop relations with people who are better than you so that you can learn from them. Make friends with your peers so that you can achieve more through teamwork. Among your more accomplished seniors, cultivate mentors and role models. They will guide you. Have an open mind, listen to everyone and pick out what is good for you. Yes, criticism hurts, but when taken in the right spirit, it will show you the truth which will also benefit you. Use people power to build healthy and productive relationships because relations with like-minded people create synergy or joint energy or combined horsepower which will drive your growth process. As students, one of the best ways to use people power is to create study groups or study partnerships. I am sure many of you are already doing this and know the advantages. Networking is the best way to healthy growth both in student life and as adults. It harnesses your social skills and maximizes your potential to bring out your best. And now we come to the all important step 8, the reboot. We have all seen how having a goal helps us to achieve success. But once you reach the goal comes the big question, what next? After reaching goal fulfillment, should your life come to a full stop? Should you rest on your laurels, retire and relax? No, of course not. That's why we have the concept of the reboot. It means starting all over again. It means when the end of an existing goal comes into sight, you take time off to set new goals which are meaningful to you and you start the entire process all over again on a new platform. Life is not to be treated like a one-point agenda. There are always higher peaks to climb. Life is to be treated more like a relay race. When one goal ends, a new one begins. Thus the circle of life continues. So always have exciting new goals to achieve. Because once you gain experience and insight, you will be better at the game. You will be able to do more, contribute more and become a growth engine for your family, for your profession, for your organization and for society at large. Even the high and the mighty keep themselves busy even after retirement. Ratan Tata is active in philanthropy. Bill Gates is leading his own charitable foundation to eliminate the problems of the world. Today, he is the leader the world looks up to in the fight against the pandemic. So as students, you need to have this idea of constant reboot and restart in order to renew yourself and not stagnate your brilliant mind. So, reboot. So friends, you've seen for yourselves the 8 easy steps to success. 1. Take charge of your life. 2. Use your time productively. 3. Have a goal. 4. Have a plan. 5. Invest effort and push yourself. 6. Be alert 
flexible and adapt to change. 7. Network with others. And finally, 8. Restart or reboot. Though I have said that these 8 steps are easy, they still require you to immerse yourself and give your 100%. You are now on to a new journey through college. A journey of freedom, independence and the potential to realize your dreams. I know that each of you has the ability to achieve what your heart desires. I have faith in your capacity to understand and absorb what we have discussed here and create a bright future for yourself. You are fortunate to be part of a great Jesuit institution which has enormous experience and expertise in education. So decide today to use this opportunity and your newfound freedom to bring out the best in you. I wish you all the best in this endeavor and I hope to one day see you radiating with the glow of personal and professional success. Gratitude is one of the simplest yet most powerful things that humans can do for each other. And it is to acknowledge those who rendered their services for the success of this orientation program that I call on Blanche Rodriguez, Secretary of the Student Council. A very good day to each and everyone watching this orientation. Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow, says Melody BT. On behalf of the management, staff and students, I am honoured to thank our esteemed chief guest, Mr. Mahesh Nayak, for his insight and wise words that will immensely benefit the budding students of this college. I would like to express my deepest gratitude towards our respected rector, Reverend Father Dionysius Vas SJ, for his constant support and heartwarming words that is sure to encourage the young students. I thank our principal, Reverend Father Clifford Sequera SJ, for his steadfast aid rendered towards this institution. And finally, for all the first few students present here, thank you for your cooperation and participation in this orientation. We hope you have gained motivation and inspiration from today and make your experience here at St. Aloysius Pre-University College a memorable one. I wish you all the best for your future endeavours. Thank you all once again. I'd like to conclude this program with a quote. Believe in yourself. Believe in your capacity to do good and great things. Believe that no mountain is so high you cannot climb it. Believe that no storm is so great that you cannot weather it. Believe in yourself. Thank you.